Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today I'm going to be reviewing Cobra Kai Season 4, the complete season. So it has just dropped, so not a huge percentage of people would have watched the whole thing, but if you're a true fan, you would have got up early or late, depending on your time zone, to watch the whole thing. So if you have not checked it out, go check it out. If you have not checked the other three seasons out, or the Karate Kid movies, go check them out so you know what is happening and that you're up to date with all the information let me know what you thought about the season down below let me know what you want to see from season five i'll give my opinions on that in a few days so stay tuned for that anyways first things enjoy the review scoba kai season four has finally been and gone it obviously dropped at 8 a.m in the uk where i'm based and what a hell of a show this was so much happened and so much is left on answer getting ready for season five, which should drop at some point this year. Most likely summer, maybe back end of the year, we'll see. Obviously, depending on when the, the setting of the show is. So I'll have to wait and see about that. But yeah, so much happened in this from scenes with Johnny versus Silver, the relationship between Johnny and Silver. Uh, this was so cool. Because they obviously never interacted on screen. So that was amazing to see. The relationship, which sort of humanized Crease a bit with Johnny as well. Because Silver was so evil and manipulative, Crease was seeing where he'd gone wrong in, the, wrong in the past and how he wanted to bear himself in many ways and sort of was trying to sort of make a path with Johnny, and sort of get past some things they've done. And he always wanted to work with him. He never wanted to cause people harm or himself harm. And things obviously went out of hand. Hence why I think Kreese was so influenced by Silver. Silver is a million times more manipulative and stronger than Kreese. That's the thing for me. But if the season made Kreese look more powerful, which was I knew was a massive tactical plan by Silver. He sabotaged the Cobra, uh, the Cobra Kai's win at the end. Um, the point was deducted for no reason. So Cobra Kai won. And obviously, that's going to be a massive thing for season five. Chris went to prison after a, an attack, which obviously wasn't him, on Stingray. Another point settled by Silver. And this whole mess between Silver and Johnny, uh, sorry, and Chris was the weaknesses. And Silver, the whole series, behind the scenes, was plotting against Chris. So Cobra Kai would be his. And he could make it his own and the whole valley and take over and his, have his own views and opinions on it, which I thought was amazing. Uh, yeah, going back to the adults, you know, Silver was one of the standouts of the season. You, you didn't really get much dynamics with him and Daniel. There's one, the final scene they appeared in together, Bar the Old Valley, was the shop scene. Um, and I think setting up the fact that they're going to be massive in season uh, season five, those two, they're going to be the main people in charge. Because um, Daniel won't let Cobra Kai take over. And the massive, massive reveal at the end, obviously, the return of Chosen to see him back was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I can't wait to see them to... I think they've brought Chosen back in, simply because Johnny's now going to be focused on finding Miguel, um, which their relationship all the way through from the start to the end, the whole relationship between him and his mother, to try to teach him um, karate and then self-defense and the whole relationship with Daniel. They went a massive journey in this, and I think it's going to continue to season five. We finally... Ex wants him to be his son when he goes on this journey when he's obviously dad won't want him which still a huge believer it is mike bond i don't think he'd include miguel's dad for no particular reason but just to be a random nobody that no one knows in this universe it'd be a huge reveal for mike barnes to be the dad uh and it's the sort of characteristics that he comes with him he doesn't care that he's got a kid doesn't know that he's got a kid he was in prison and all the usual stuff that mike barnes would probably be up to at this point in time this is off a lot of good stuff for the kids tori was excellent her relationship with amanda and she went from being very angry at the start when she lost a job all the way to the point of where she saw her as more of a mother role. I think that was excellent, one of the strongest parts of the series. And I can't wait to, to grow in to season five because we know Tori is probably going to leave Cobra Kai after hearing Silver and the referee uh, talking about the whole dodginess about it. So I'm looking forward to seeing her leave Cobra Kai and Robbie to leave Cobra Kai because I think they are both very good people. And I think Kyla and... Kenny will be the sole two leaders under Silver, with obviously a bunch of other people. 
maybe um, Piper would be one of the main ones as well. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Uh, Aish obviously returned, not much to talk about. But yeah, that was a really nice thing to throw in there. Uh, and a motivational thing for um, to prompt Sam along, which I think was cool. Sam had a really good series uh, and she's constantly growing every series. Uh, she's a great character, a great um, fit for Miguel. And again, her relationship with Johnny in this season was excellent. It was great to see a different dynamic to her character. She was obviously so one-sided to the defense, to seeing her being attacking and being influenced by two people. And then the realization of when they came together at the end and hugging Daniel, it was really cool, really amazing to see. And so much potential for all these characters, especially with season five and most likely season six. So I can't wait to see how this all wraps up in a couple of years. Um, the training sequ- sequences were amazing in this. The relationship between Johnny and Daniel was brilliant from the second, from the end to the from start to the finish when they managed to wrap everything up, uh, come together and finally apologize for everything done in the series. It's the rope, it's wrote so excellently this show. Um, the trio guys behind it are amazing fans, and all the flashbacks and callbacks, and the music and sequences, and uh, the pictures, and everything we see in this the, the old dojo returning. Um, they somehow manage to just one up it every season, and it's just brilliant. I think how they manage to just pull it off by you know, you think they can't top it, then they top it. It's like Chosen Returning was actually huge because you thought he was just talking to Mr. Miyagi at the grave. And they said, I know it's not your fight. And it's like, okay. Then the camera just pans around and it's chosen. Bringing him back to the series because you're pushing Johnny towards the Mexico story, I think is brilliant. Um, it pulls Johnny out story, but it, put, it puts him more towards Miguel and it gives it more layers, I think. Uh, Dimitri had an excellent series. Hawk had an excellent series. His development from being Hawk and then he gets his Hawk uh, shaven off. Uh, and then uh, his, constant, his rivalry with Kyle, they're beating him in the All Valley tournament. And having the affection of uh, Moon Pie was brilliant. A lot of these characters were so well-developed and the Old Valley sort of gave a lot of closure and started new storylines with certain people. And Tori apologising to Sam at the end was really cool, but she got pulled away by the Cobras. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think season five is going to be brilliant. I think we're going to see a couple more, uh, as I said, Mike Barnes, maybe one more person. I think the mum will come back into it. Uh, her mum appeared in, I think, season two or three in the background. We didn't get a reveal of who she is. Maybe she'll play a key role into the Amanda Tory relationship, which I think would be really cool. We got to see, obviously, the return of Stingray, as I pointed out, uh, Silver um, put all the blame on Crease. Awesome to see Stingray. He's hilarious. He's funny. He brings a lot to the story, I think, in the way that, you know, he's fresh. Uh, and I can't wait to see him a bit more in season five and maybe stick around for the whole Chosen, Daniel, Silver trio fight, which would be excellent. Uh, I want to say Chosen is probably one of the best choices to bring back in the series. He's a fun- the guy who plays him is phenomenal. It- his relationship with Daniel has been brilliant for wanting to kill him, to- teaching him the move that like, took Crease out in the finale of season three to now taking out Sil- the hopeful thing of taking out Silver in season five. And then I think season six will be a season where it just gets wrapped up and then I'll go more into that. Uh, the relationship between Kenny and Anthony in there, she saw obviously Anthony being the bully for a change, but then Kenny develops into this maniac person who is able to defend himself. Yeah, and the rest of the season offered a lot of good moments. Like, obviously, a huge moment was Miguel, who, when he was against uh, Eli, his back went, which I think was an amazing plot, tw- plot twist and crazy moment that happened because we all thought Miguel and Robbie would fight in the final, which I think maybe we need to stop saying the predictable stuff and sort of think more logically. Hawk had a lot of development from season one, two, four, and this was his season, I think, from the young ones. And to see Miguel drop out and not return at all was actually really cool to see. And I'm looking forward to seeing his development in season five and his relationship with his dad and Johnny and his mom and whether he will return to karate altogether. So that was really cool to see. Um, I think Kyler proved he's not that good of a character. He can't fight. He got beat by Eli very easy, but it closed their chapter and it proved that Eli's a better fighter and more worthy of being, well, a Cobra guy, supposedly. Uh, I think the council was brilliant. Uh, A lot of different personalities, a lot of comedy. The announcer, I think, was brilliant and definitely an excellent choice for that role. And I think... I think he appeared in season one, but I can't fully remember. But yeah, he was a great character. And they all were, to be fair. I think um, 
yeah, it was a great relationship. I love the song they used in the Old Valley Tournament. I thought it was a great twist on You're the Best. And I think they need more of that um, unique songs rather than just completely relying on the old ones. But the old ones complement the original trilogy and what they were all about and how the subtle references like um, um, that were always mentioned throughout the series. Oh, the Glory of Love that was mentioned by Miguel which I think was a, the song wasn't in it, but it was really cool how he mentioned it instead of, you know, having to play every song and then be like, oh, that's from that, that. So that was really cool. A few other things I really enjoyed the series. The writing was brilliant. Uh, and the cinematography was done so well. Um, it's one of the best shows I think Netflix has done. Um, and getting it off YouTube was one of the best things going because I don't think I had a future with YouTube. And I think the characters are brilliant. The acting is brilliant. And the humor's done so well. The relationships, the character growth. Um, they give enough screen time to most characters that need it. And so you don't know who's going to win, who's going to come out on top, who's going to need the more, who needs the win more than the other. Because everyone's got their own issues. Everyone's going through their own um, problems in life. And it's really cool how they're not just focused on Tori, but they're focused on Tori and Sam and Robbie and Miguel and Hawk and Dimitri. And they're giving them all this skeleton to grow into great characters and build up to season five and it shows that this show has so many seasons in it that it's just doing so well uh, i love the red geese that um uh, eagle fang war we saw him in the trailer but to see him in action the episodes was excellent and we knew they weren't gonna do as good as uh, miyagi do or cobra kai but it's still amazing to see johnny and a few of the other characters who don't get enough screen time like Bert and um I can't remember the other characters, but a couple of the main main kids uh, don't get enough screen time, but they did in that, which is really brilliant. Uh, the story's amazingly flown. Uh, Silver was excellently brought in from the start. He built up to like episode four or five of them where he officially came in. He was constantly un over undermining uh, Crease, and obviously he thought he feared him, but I, didn't, I, I knew he was manipulating him the whole time. I didn't think he was going to cheat. But that was a really cool twist in the series. And I'm looking forward to seeing where Silver goes without Kreese and how dangerous Cobra Kai will go into season five. I think season five has the potential to be one of the best seasons going now, especially with the whole chosen Daniel relationship versus Silver. The possibility of Mike Barnes returning, the possible relationship between Kreese and Johnny growing, uh, Robbie and Tori leaving Cobra Kai, uh, the New Mexico storyline of Johnny possibly showing up in with Miguel and then meeting the father, which I think would be really cool. Uh, yeah, so this season is a phenomenal season. Definitely ups from season three. I didn't think it would, but I think it has definitely done that because it just offered so much, so many layers, and a great build off what season three left us. So how recommend you go check it out. It was a brilliant watch. If you've never seen Cobra Kai, check it out. If you haven't seen the original trilogy of films, well, the original quadrilogy, go and check them out. Um, I would make a lot more videos on season five and I thought more thoughts on season four. And so stay tuned for them. I'll be reviewing season one to three eventually with the Cobra, with the Karate Kid films. I uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for watching as always. Take care for now. Like, subscribe, comment anything else you want to see. Take care and goodbye.